Mr Williams and this session is all about doubling. What is doubling? Well, if I had some marbles, I've got two marbles, and I was to double them, then I would end up with twice the amount. I've got four marbles now. So these are the things that you are going to need for this session. Two saucers, some buttons or other things that you can use as counters such as pebbles, and a pencil and paper, or if you've got one, a whiteboard and a pen. Now one way that we can see double of something is when we look in a mirror. One Mr Williams, two Mr Williamses. So for this activity today, I'm going to put some objects on the table and today I'm going to use my counting dinosaurs and then I'm going to use my magic mirror to reflect them so I can see double. So on the table, I have one dinosaur and there's my magic mirror and I can see the reflection so I can see one in the mirror too. So I've got one dinosaur on the table, I can see one in the mirror and all together, I can see two dinosaurs. One and one makes two. Or I could say, double one is two. Okay, let's have a go with two dinosaurs. So there's two dinosaurs on the table. How many do you think we will see reflected? That's right, there's two more in the magic mirror. So all together, I can see four dinosaurs. Two add two makes four. Or I could say double two is four. So this time I've got three yellow dinosaurs on the table. And in the magic mirror, I can now see another three. And all together, that makes six. Three add three equals six. Or I could say double three is six. So four dinosaurs on the table now. And if I look in the magic mirror, I can see four more in the mirror. So four on the table and four in the mirror makes eight all together. Or we could say double four is eight. Okay, last time now, five green dinosaurs on the table. Five dinosaurs in the magic mirror. And all together, that makes 10 dinosaurs. Or I could say, double five is 10. Well, I hope you enjoyed that magic mirror activity. And we're going to have a go now at doing an activity ourselves. And for this activity, we're going to need our plates. And whatever we put on this plate is going to be reflected in the magic mirror on this plate. So whatever we put on this plate will be doubled. So for this activity, you will need your two plates and your counters or your pebbles or your buttons or whatever it is you have at home. Okay, I've got my plates and I've got my counters, or my buttons, and I'm going to use my plates to show doubles. So I'm going to start off by putting one button on my first plate. And I'm going to start to write it as a number sentence as well. Now, whatever I do on the first plate, I've got to do the same on the second plate to show doubles. So I'm also going to put one counter on the other plate. So I've got one counter plus one counter and all together I can see two counters or two buttons. One and one is two. Or I could say double one is two. Now I'm going to do the same thing by putting two counters on the first plate. So I'm going to write my number sentence. Two counters. I'm going to put two on the second plate to start to show my doubles. Two, add two. And all together, I can see four counters. 
2 and 2 makes 4. Or I could say double 2 is 4. Now, if you could pause the video here, get your plates and get your counters to show all of the doubles up to double 5. And whilst you're doing it, see if you can write out the number sentence to show the double that you have made. Come back here once you've done it. Welcome back. Now, how did you get on with that? Hopefully, you managed to get your doubles all the way up to double five or five out five, which totals ten. Well done if you did that. So, now that we've started to learn our doubles up to double five, we're now going to use our magic doubling machine to see if we can remember any of those doubles. Now, whichever number we put in to the magic doubling machine, the machine will double it and you will see the double come out the other side. So to begin with, I've got the number three. So let's see what happens when we put three into the double machine. So in it goes, the machine's having a think. Oh, it's ready, so double three is six. So we're going to play this game now and see if you can shout out what number is going to come out of the doubling machine before the machine works it out. Okay, here we go. One is about to go into the machine. Shout out what's going to happen. Double one is two. Well done if you've got that one. Okay, next up, five is about to go into the machine. In it goes. Shout out what you think double five is. Double five is ten. Well done if you got that one. Okay, next up, two is about to go into the machine. Get ready to shout out. Double two is... Double two is four. Well done if you got that one right. Well, I hope you've enjoyed our doubling activities today and we have been beginning to learn our doubles up to ten. So shall we have a quick quiz to see how brilliant you are at your doubles? See if you can answer my questions. Double one is two. Well done. Double four is... Oop, louder. That's right, double four is eight. Double three is six. Well done. Double two is good. And double five is, oh, amazing. You are brilliant at your doubles up to 10. That's all for this time. Bye.